So the host supporting my Bitcoin node failed as a result of a power outage. Even though the host had RAID 1, the disks were derezzed, let's say, to use a use a word from an old movie um, interested in those of you who pick up on that term by the way let me know in the comments so my Bitcoin node is gone and you've seen me create new ones in this series but the simple creation of those new nodes does nothing for regaining the private keys that control the Bitcoin in the addresses created for these nodes. And yes, there are funds on the blockchain relative or controlled by the private key for that node. So it is important to be able to, to recover. So how do we do that? <clears throat> Turns out that it's quite simple. As long as you've taken the necessary precautions as a result of building a node in the first place, right? So what's what's one of the first things that you do once your node is up and running and you've got the addresses that you want created? Back up your wallet.dat. So it turns out But that is exactly what I did. So I have a copy of my wallet.dat. I've renamed it just so that I know where it belongs. And with this in hand, it turns out that recovery is quite simple. Um, to demonstrate, I, I labeled my addresses on that node. So what I should be able to do should be able to do that and you see that um, we get an error that there are no addresses with with that label unfortunate but recoverable uh, so my my node my new node here on Azure is still running I'm gonna do something here real quick uh, if you take a look at the dot Bitcoin directory you notice that there is a wallet.dat file and this has been created as a result of this new node coming online. Uh, watch this. I'm going to resume that screen and we see that our blockchain is still downloading. I'm going to inter interrupt this process for just a bit. <clears throat> and so once that's done will terminate the screen give me back my command prompt I'm going to make a directory called saved and I'm going to move the wallet.dat file currently in the bitcoin directory the dot bitcoin directory I'm going to move that to saved and then I'm going to move my wallet.dat into the .bitcoin directory. And then I'm going to start this node up again. initialize and continue downloading the blockchain so I'll uh, detach from this leave that running and what you're going to notice now when I go and issue that command to get addresses by label it knows 
about my address and that is the SegWit deposit address for the one account that I had configured on my node. So while this command gives us a zero balance, that is simply because the blockchain has not completed its download yet. Once all of the blocks in the blockchain have been downloaded, I will see the appropriate balance represented here for the wallets or addresses held uh, or controlled by my private key. So what you've just witnessed is a successful recovery from a potential catastrophe aided exclusively by the fact that I had a backup of the wallet.dat file. piece of cake please take a moment to like this video subscribe to this new channel so that you get notified anytime I post a new video which I try to do a couple times a week it doesn't always happen but I do try thank you for your time I hope that this has been educational, informative, and you will see me in the next one.